Hello world! In this tutorial we're going to learn how to build this countdown timer using JavaScript. And in the next tutorial we're going to use this countdown timer as a browser source for OBS. OBS is the application I'm using to record my screen while I'm doing this video and when I'm doing live streams. And I want this kind of tool, this countdown timer, to have it on top of the screen. So maybe I want to do a challenge and I want to say something like let's build an app in 10 minutes. So then the users can see that there are only 9 minutes left or 8 minutes left or so on. All right, let's see how we can build this. All right, so here we have VS Code on the left and Live Server on the right. So whatever we have here in the index will be able to see on the right. Let's create a boilerplate with Emmet. Say here count down, like that. And in the HTML, we're going to have the script here at the bottom, script.js, and also let's add the CSS link style.css. Let's type hello world so we can see it works. And here add in the files style.css and script.js. Okay. Hello in the alert so we can see it works. And for the styling body, background color, red. All right, and let's save the files. Okay. Let's see, does it work? Lives? Yeah. Good. So it works. Let's remove this boilerplate. Okay. Good. Also the alert. Nice. Now we can have the counter in a p tag. So with an ID of countdown like that. That's all we need for the HTML. We link to the files and we have the countdown here. Let's give it a little style. Let's say we have 10 minutes. Let's style it now. We have a font from Google Fonts and on the body let's use the font, font family Roboto sans serif and remove the margin. Okay, and the p tag because that's what we need to background color white. You'll see why we need a background color. Display inline flex. Let's add the width 200 pixels and the height of 70 pixels and increase the font size. Okay. Let's also center it in the middle, align item center and justify content center. Perfect. And last thing is to remove the margin. Okay, now you can see it's up here in the corner. If we add the background color of black, you can see it appears in the corner. That's because we're going to use this as a browser source in OBS and we want to target only this little corner, which will be displayed on the screen. All right, and now to the JavaScript. First, let's see, we'll need 10 minutes. So we're going to store that in a variable, starting minutes. Then next, the total amount of time. So the time will be the starting minutes multiplied by 60, because we want all the seconds. So 600 seconds in this case. Okay, next let's target the countdown component. Countdown element. Document get element by ID. Countdown. Because that's what we set here. So the countdown. Okay, perfect. And we're going to have a function which will run every second. So we'll update the counter. Let's create the function. Update countdown. All right. At the end of the function here, we're going to decrease the time. So time minus minus. This is why we have it as a let, because we want to change it. All right, so first let's calculate the minutes and the seconds remained. So const minutes will be mat floor, the time divided by 60. So basically we take all the seconds and divide by 60 to get the minutes. 
and we're using mat.floor to retrieve the lowest number without the decimals. All right, next let's create a second, which will be basically time module 60. So basically all the seconds remained after the division and now we can add them to the screen. Let's see. So we have the countdown element and for the inner HTML we can add the minutes and the seconds. So this we can see on the screen. Also let's call this function every second. Set interval function name and every second. Let's see what happens now. Okay, you can see something happened. We can see the time running down, which is good. The reason we have let seconds here is because we want to manipulate it. So if we refresh here, you're going to see that for a split of the second there is the just zero. Let's remove this from here. So it will be an empty paragraph and you will see 10 and 0. So we want to adjust that and that's why we have a let here because we want to reassign the seconds variable to be. If the seconds are less than 10 then we want to have 0 plus seconds. Otherwise we want just a second. And here is a question mark. Okay, now if we refresh you're going to see that 10 0, 0, which is nice. Let's remove here the space because we don't need it. And that's it. We now have a counter. And in the next tutorial, we're going to use this counter to add it as a source in OBS. See you there. Bye. <laughs>